What's going on guys? Patrick from Talk here today with a buying guide for those of you who want to save a buck or two but still want to play some very, very cool games on your Nintendo Switch. Now the Switch has only been out for about five months and there's not a ton of games on the Switch but there are a ton of hidden gems that really are not that much money at all and interesting fact about all of these games, you can actually buy all these games I'm about to talk about for less than the price of a fully priced brand new game so if you want to update your library on your switch if you want to get a lot more games well listen up so yeah all of these games under ten dollars all fantastic games in my mind these games i've picked these games are all available on the u.s eShop. not too sure about the european and japanese but this is the u.s buying guide for games under ten dollars so let's get it started the first game I'm going to talk about is a game that actually came out a little while ago, and that's Blaster Master Zero for the Switch. This game retails at $9.99, and let me tell you, this game is an excellent buy. So basically, Blaster Master Zero is an action exploration game that harkens back to the golden years of gaming. Blaster Master Zero builds off the original NES title, adding new areas, bosses, and even new gameplay elements such as sub-weapons and extended exploration mechanics. Basically, you travel around this 2D world in your vehicle where you can explore almost everything. However, when you come across a dungeon entrance, you can then dismount from your spaceship and walk around on foot, which I think is a really cool mechanic for this game. Blaster Master Zero has already had two major updates, adding a hard mode and also adding four playable DLC characters, which you guys might recognize, uh, including Gunvolt, Ikora, Shantae, and even Shovel Knight, which is coming later this year. This game is definitely worth a buy and one of the best hidden gems on the Switch. And again, this game is only $9.99, guys. The next game is Vaccine. Now, this is a pretty new survival horror game, and it retails at $9.99 as well. So Vaccine is the first survival horror game of the Nintendo Switch, like I said, coming in at just $9.99. And this game is definitely a great value in terms of what this game has to offer. The unique thing about Vaccine is that the world auto-generates around you, meaning you never quite know where you are going, which adds to the already creepy atmosphere of this game. This game is basically a giant love letter to the old Resident Evil games, and you really feel like you've been sent back in time with this one. So when you play this game, you're kind of looking at different camera angles that really reminded me of Resident Evil. I highly recommend this game for fans of the survival horror genre. And again, this game is only $9.99. The next game is Goner. This game retails for $9.99 and is found on the eShop. Goner is a beautiful game that has one of the most unique art styles out there. Goner is essentially a score-based platformer which has auto-generated levels, so there's a ton of replayability. So basically, every time you play the game, the levels will be different and present unique challenges and opportunities. There are also a ton of secret areas within the game. These areas will get you special unlockable items that you can use in-game, which is really, really cool. And above all, guys, oh my god, this soundtrack. Holy crap, definitely adds to the atmosphere of this game. Goner is definitely worth a pickup if you enjoy kind of these artsy 2D platformers. And guys, this game is hard as hell. And uh, like I said before, only $9.99. The next game on this list is Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Mighty Gunvolt Burst is the next installment in the Mighty Gunvolt series. This game looks like it came straight from the SNES, which... I have no problem with, bringing back old mechanics that are made new again. This game is essentially a 2D shooting platformer similar to the Mega Man series and features the same character from Mighty, Mighty Number no. 9, which sounds a lot worse than it is. There's also a new burst combo system which rewards you for finishing off enemies and bosses up close and personal, so you will be rewarded for your wit and grit. This ability also triggers the HD rumble function, which is a nice addition to the game. If you are looking for a classic Mega Man type game on the go, look no further than Mighty Gunvolt Burst. Now, so far I've listed games that are of the $9.99 price tag, but I can't really end this list without talking about some of the gems of the Neo Geo series games. Now, 
Not a lot of people have talked about the Neo Geo games on the Switch, but let me just tell you guys, some of these games are worth the price of admission. So, these games are, these last two games are both $7.99 each. Let's start it off. So, the first game is the Neo Geo Galaxy Fight Universal Warriors. Oh my god, guys. Galaxy Fight Universal Warriors is a classic 2D fighting game that I played a ton of back in the day. What sets Universal Warriors aside from the other fighting games on the system is the fluid fighting motion of the characters. The game paved the way for a lot of fighting games we see now, and this game also features diverse characters and beautiful, beautiful backgrounds for the time. Remember guys, this game was released in 95, so this game is $7.99, definitely worth the price. And the final game, or games, are the Metal Slug series. Now I believe that there are three Metal Slug games on the eShop. These all retail for $7.99 and all of them are fantastic. You can choose up to four different characters with a vast array of weapons, and for those of you who don't know what Metal Slug is, it's essentially an action arcade game where you're just spitting bullets out at the enemy. It's kind of like a scrolling game. Really, really fun, guys, and definitely worth the price of $7.99. So there you go, guys. I made this video kind of because a lot of you have been asking me, Pat, what should I play in the eShop? What should I buy in the eShop? And these games are really a good alternative if you're kind of in between games. All of these games aren't really long in terms of how many hours you're going to be playing, but they are kind of good placeholders and really cool additions to your library. And if you get them on the eShop, you can play them anywhere you want to. So guys, let me know what you think about this video. Will you be picking up these games? Do you already have these games? And like always, guys, this is Patrick from Nintendo Talk. Thank you very, very much.